Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Retired Vet Show. Joe Biden is to release more oil from the Strategic Oil Reserve to reduce the gas prices so it doesn't affect him in the election. So this is an old song and dance that they played back in the 2022 midterms where they released all that oil to reduce the gas prices. So it gave the appearance that the Biden administration was tackling the cost of energy. When in fact, the Biden administration is doing everything in their power to destroy the fossil fuel industry. There is no more drilling in Anwar, Alaska. There is no more offshore drilling. We are importing oil from Venezuela, Iran, Russia at an exorbitant price. And it's not the cleanest oil that they're importing <coughs> compared to the oil reserves that we have right here in the United States. We have enough energy right here in the United States that we were energy independent when this administration took over. I remember the gas being under $2 a gallon. Can't do that now. $2 a gallon, you won't even get a gallon of gas now. But do y'all remember <laughs> this little this little meme that they had at the pumps? I did that when the gas is five dollars a gallon. I remember I remember seeing them just about every gas station that I pulled up to. You had this this sign with Joe Biden pointing at the gas price. That I did that because it's, it is his administration's policies. Don't let them fool you to say that uh, they have no control over the gas prices in this country. Yes, they actually do, because it's been proven that we have control over our gas prices. If we drill right here in the United States, if we stop releasing from the tr strategic oil reserves just to manipulate prices for a little while, to give the appearance that we that the gas prices are coming down, the strategic oil reserves is meant for a natural disaster or for an event, <coughs> a catastrophic event within the United States. It is not meant to be tapped into so that we can bring gas prices down right prior to a midterm or general election. That's what it's meant for. It says back in 2022, they sold millions of barrels of oil from the nation, nation strategic petroleum reserve that sought to drive down prices before the midterms. Now they're trying to do it before the general election. The Department of Energy Office of Petroleum Reserves announced that contracts have been awarded for the acquisition of 3.3 million barrels of U.S. produced crude oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, the SPR. The contracts awarded today represent a fully subscribed solicitation for October delivery following the request for proposal that was announced May 7, 24. The 3.3 million barrels are being purchased for an average price of $79.38, well above, well below the average uh, of about $95 a barrel that SPR crude oil was sold for in 2022. Securing a good deal for taxpayers. To date, the Department of Energy has purchased a total of 35.6 million barrels of oil from the SPR for an average price of $77.18, as well as an accelerated nearly 4 million barrels of exchange returns. Pursuant to its strategy to refill the SPR, Department of Energy will continue to evaluate options to refill the SPR while securing a good deal for taxpayers, taking into account plan exchange returns and market developments. Whatever. Sure you're not. They're going to get it at the highest price, and we're going to pay that price for whatever it is. I guarantee you. They're not going to negotiate for a lower price, but they're they've tapped into it to manipulate the price of oil. You remember when Russia invaded Ukraine, our gas prices went up because anything that happens on the global market will affect the amount of money that we have to pay for oil on that global market. If we're doing it ourselves internally, producing our own oil, whatever happens in the world would not affect us because we are producing our own oil. You remember Biden got rid of the uh, XL pipeline? All of those options that we had on the table, Biden took those options off the table for the United States to be energy independent. And here we are. And here you are struggling to pay your electric bill, 
your gas bill, your car gas bill, food on a table. All those things revolve around the price of a, a gallon of gas because the more it costs to bring those goods to the store, the more we as consumers are going to pay for those items at the store. The greater the need, the more they have to pay to get those needs to us, the more we're going to pay for those needs. But let me know what you think down in the comments. If you like this video, hit that like button. Please subscribe to the Retired Vet Show. And thank you for watching and listening. God bless you all. Stay safe.